Hello, and welcome to the JNCIA Junos Tactical IT Training Course. My name is Chris Frisch, and I'm glad you're here today. I know some of you have toyed around with the idea of learning Junos for a while, but maybe the idea of reading through endless hours of tech docs or taking those expensive boot camps has maybe turned you off. First of all, let me just tell you that you are making a great choice by beginning your journey with Junos here. We're going to go through everything that you need to know for the JNCIA Junos exam number JN01102, or the most current exam, and I'm going to teach you much of what I have learned from working with Juniper products over the years. We're going to get lots of command line time in, and I have set up some great labs for you using the GNS3 software. So, there are two main objectives for this course. Firstly, we don't want you to spend all of this time learning Junos and not actually prepare you to take the exam. So, I have designed this course around the exam objectives with an emphasis on the topics that you will see most on the exam. Secondly, you want to learn how to work with Juniper products, right? Like the SRX, one of the most popular uh, data products. So I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know to perform pretty much all the basic configuration and management tasks on a smaller SRX branch platform. Now, we will talk about this a little bit more later, but what you learn on the SRX will also apply to other Junos platforms like routers and switches. Now, in this section, we are going to talk about the fundamentals of the Junos OS. We're going to talk about what the Junos OS is and how it works. So, let's get started. So, what is Junos? Well, it's a little different than other network OSs. If you ask the people over at Juniper, they like to say that the software is just cool. Juniper has put a tremendous amount of resources into building this software from the ground up to produce an operating system that is highly scalable and stable. The Juno software is built on the FreeBSD kernel, and it retains many of the FreeBSD features that make it a stable and reliable kernel. Juniper also describes Junos as a modular system. One of the reasons why Juniper refers to Junos as having a modular architecture is because the Junos services ride on top of the FreeBSD kernel and are completely independent of each other. Services can be added or removed based on the hardware or appliance specifications or needs. Each process runs in its own protected memory space. This ensures that one process cannot directly interfere with another process. Having these services completely independent of each other offers huge advantages. For example, system services run separately and independently from security services, and clustering services are not dependent upon system services, and so on. Since these services are not built into the fabric of the OS itself, but ride independently on top of the kernel, if there's a failure in one service or set of services, it doesn't necessarily affect others. Something you may have noticed is if you have ventured into the command line of a Juniper device before, a Junos device, is there is a hierarchy of commands to an extent that you don't really see in other networking devices. Because of the modular design of the system, Juniper has been able to create a CLI structure that is highly logical and intuitive to navigate. For example, all commands related to, say, system services start with the command system and drill down from there based on the options that you're working with. But we will go into more detail about navigating the CLI later on. Junos OS is used with most of Juniper's product line, with the exception of a few appliances like the Mag Series SSL VPNs. But those are really outside of the scope of the JNCIA Junos certification track, so we don't really need to worry about those now. And actually, the Mag Series and the, and the older SA Series appliances are now owned by a separate company 
called Pulse Secure and are no longer part of Juniper's product line. So if you have a customer that uh, it, you know puts in a ticket or is contacting you with a problem with an SA or Mag Appliance or even Juno's Pulse, the Juno's Pulse client, um, you can no longer put in a ticket with uh, Juniper JTAC or Juniper support. You actually have to go to the other company now to get support for those products. But Junos runs devices from the branch to the core of the network, from routers to switches to firewalls. Because Junos is used across the board for most of Juniper's product line, you have a single software release track to keep track of and, and one architecture to learn. All Junos OS devices share the same base source code, uh, so Junos is really the foundation for learning just about any new Juniper device.